Hey everybody, we are back. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into it. I see Adam and Team has joined that giveaway. As a reminder, that giveaway will be a, the winner will be announced tonight. And you don't have to be present. I'll be reaching out to you. The winner will be announced in Discord as well, as requested by the community. So, heads up on that, and let's get back to gameplay. Oh, wrong scene. There it is. <laughs> so you should go into my console lately from all the uh, Tales of Vesperia and everything we've been playing. Righty. Uh, player two? Oh, here we go. Oh, co-op. I turned co-op on by accident. Okay. Let's turn that off. Uh, game? Can we turn that off? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Co-op off. Resume game. Oh no, now I'm in mouse and keyboard mode. Oh, that's actually kind of nice, though. How do I dash? Space? Hmm. Hey chat, can y'all hear my keyboard as I'm playing? Let me know. I think I kind of want to try out mouse and keyboard mode, especially for the gun, because I'm kind of terrible at aiming the gun, to be honest. So this might be kind of nice. Hmm, okay. This was completely by accident. The game suggests to play it in, oh, with the controller. So that's what I was gonna do. I dash in the wherever my mouse is pointing. Okay, so that'll definitely have to do something to get, I get used to. Okay, definitely have to do that. But uh, I kind of like this. I kind of like games that give you a choice between mouse, keyboard, and controllers, or like just different ways of playing the game, right? One, I think it makes it a lot more accessible for people, right? especially with people with physical disabilities, right? But also, it's like really cool to have options. So chat, when given the choice, what do you choose between keyboard and mouse and, oh, that's a keyboard, mouse, and uh, controller? Which one is your go-to? I think we're done here, okay. I think my go-to lately, I guess all the games I've really been playing have been a uh, controller, to be honest. But just keyboards gives you so many like extra buttons, right? But at the same time, you have to spend, oof, rocket launcher to the face. You have to spend what, four of those buttons just on moving around and like, that can get kind of annoying. But, I have one of those mouse, mice, 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 that have a keypad on the side. So I have six extra buttons there. So I have the Razor Naga. Hmm, I was too slow. Oh, I didn't heal up. I forgot to heal. Got to heal. Uh, 
I didn't heal up again. Didn't heal up there. Ooh, I went back down? Um, I, I guess I had the drifter moved above where my cursor was. Okay. And I just walked off. Okay, so it's definitely playable with mouse and keyboard. Because of all the time I've invested, though, in the game, I think I'm gonna try to go back to... Oh, I also need to turn the music back up. There we go. I think I'm gonna go back to mouse and keyboard. Or not mouse, uh, controller. Or not? Okay, that's me. And that sound is me as well. There it is. Okay, cool. We're back. Okay. So yeah, mouse keyboard definitely is possible, but... I think I'll just stick with the controller, especially with having to get used to the dash mechanic with where your mouse is pointed, but you also want to point at your target, right, for aiming for your gun. So having to get used to that is kind of a big deal, to be honest. Oh, I forgot I have different guns. <laughs> How do I switch guns? Oh, there it is. Oh, I did something by accident. Totally forgot I get it. I have a different gun right now. Or I can have a different gun. I'm gonna die here. Yep. Oof. Oof. Over here? Okay. I think I might need to take the fight a little bit slower, chat. What do y'all think? Like, just because you can dash doesn't necessarily mean you should dash. Like, right there. I was basically just walked around their attacks. And then dashed to, like, get a little closer. I forgot to heal again. But that was good. That was progress. I really wish we could get some healing, though. Oh my gosh, there's more healing. <laughs> well, that should make this fight easier. Okay. So the health packs basically fully heal me whenever we use one, so that's amazing. That was messy. I shouldn't have got hit there, but that's okay. Try to get all the guys on that side before moving around. Oh, look! Another health pack! What? DJ, welcome in. How you doing today, man? Ow. Good to have you. Yep, yeah, portion of the day was inspired by you, so I'll give you some extra gold here in a moment. Oh, oh. Yeah, so DJ, your question in the Discord was, what's your favorite Pokemon? And I liked that question, but a lot of people don't necessarily know Pokemon. So I wanted to expand it out to what's your favorite just fantasy creature in general? Be it from a video game, a mythology, a TV show, anything like that. So my personal one is I think I really like, I mean, it's a classic. It's uh, a dragon. Dragons, like all the different types of dragons too, like Asian dragons are very different from like Western European dragons, right? And all the different iterations and like storytelling is I, I think it's really cool, so. Let's I, 
I love fantasy creatures in general. there dang Mewtwo really DJ okay did you see uh, I think we talked about it you you did see detective Pikachu didn't you DJ because I thought Mewtwo in that movie was very well done care of the guy on the top right who gets killing me. This. <laughs> I love how enemies can also fall into pits. That's amazing. Oh, Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, Ryan Reynolds did a very good job. I agree with that. He was hilarious. the guy with the rocket launcher and uh, ended up getting hit by the guy and then knocked off for the last point of damage to kill me oof okay that's unfortunate thanks for those this bro that's that was a bad one Pretty sure these guys bolts like this blast they do do two points of damage so and stay careful um, I don't know if I saw that one either DJ the first Pokemon movie was really good I really enjoyed it of course I grew up on Pokemon I I, I love all of it I'm a huge fanboy okay the next enemy should spawn here and then we'll kill the next guy to my left and then move on. Do it. Yes. Can we get some hypes in chat? Whew. There it is. There are the hypes. Thank you, stalking. And here's the next key. Perfect. Uh, three keys down. There it is. Okay, so now is a nice, really hard fight because we're about to get that key. Okay. So it seem, seeming like they're making all of these little fights a bit harder because there's not a boss. Okay, it looks like there's one last area we need to get into to get that last third teleportation pad. Okay. Last place we need to go is... Oh, the one straight down there still. Huh. I guess let's teleport there. Ooh, 
a theory, huh? What would your... Can you give us a preview or a little teaser of what your theory would be? Looks like we're just going to have to walk back down. Oh, maybe that... Now that we've done some of that stuff up here, those blocks from the middle have actually gone away. Maybe. You can give that a shot. We'll take a look. Yeah, let's go check it out. But adventure games like this are pretty fun. Like... They're different from a lot of the mainstream games right now because they don't hold your hand, right? A lot of mainstream games currently, and there's nothing wrong with it, but offer a lot of assistance to the players. They offer, like, actual quest markers and a quest log, right? Crazy, I know. This game doesn't do that, though. And it's a bit more old school because of that. Which I'm okay with. It's it's refreshing to have that every once in a while. Another old game I'm playing right now is Dragon Quest 1 on my phone. Really old Dragon Quest game. He's a human? And so he's a human and Team Rocket is doing something to give him those powers and control him? Is, is that what you're getting at? Interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean, hey, that's an interesting theory. I mean, in the first movie, right, like, he is straight up being controlled by Team Rocket. But you're, maybe you're talking about more conspiracy theory controlled, which could be interesting. there's any secrets here. I don't think so. Yeah? Okay, DJ. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, man. Okay, so this is what I wanted to check out. There's this area over here. There's a set of blocks that are blocking this way, or were. No, they're still here. Huh. I kind of thought that was it. Now that we had the other three pieces, I thought those would have went down. Um, is this the last key that we need to access this up here? Maybe go further back? And then we can maybe somehow cross over and then get up? I mean, there's this thing. I don't know how to open that either. Maybe we can slip into this building somehow? Uh, well, he thought that... I get the first movie, he talked about how... Mewtwo thought the humans were just using the Pokemon, right? They, he would, they weren't being treated with respect, and the Pokemon, he thought they were basically slaves, right? Oh, stalking, that's a good answer. The, uh... Was it the Treants? Are they called Treants in that movie? And that's... I think sometimes they're just called Ents? Yeah, no. Those are really cool stocking. That's a good answer. I haven't thought about Lord of the Rings in a while. I kind of want to rewatch that. When was the last time y'all watched Lord of the Rings? back up here to see if there's something I missed like maybe a teleporter 
or an underground passage or something that, that, like that that leads to me to where I need to go. I'm not, I'm not seeing it yet. Let me know if y'all see anything, chat. Here's that model that we already did. Uh, you played it? Are you talking about a video game, DJ? Because this is the same story about these things moving in and destroying everything he knows and loves, which is super sad, but we already know about it. Oh, just in the background, like for noise. That makes sense. I'm working from home tomorrow. Maybe I'll throw that on and listen to it while I'm chilling and working. Not a bad idea. Can I just fall off here? I can fall off there, but there's no, no reason to. Got it. Nice. Yeah, I remember playing a couple, uh, I was gonna say The Legend of Zelda, Lord of the Ring games, Lord of the Rings games. <sighs> when I was growing up. This last Lord of the Ring game, a lot of people liked. What was it called? Uh, the Shadow of Mordor, I think it was called. A lot of people like it. Do I like your theory? I think it's okay. Huh. The game, the game theorists. Yeah, the the game theorists are pretty cool. I I usually watch them a lot. I don't really watch them much anymore, though, to be honest. Well, here's a little secret. Let's see what we can find over here. We find a piece of money. Cool. So all that led me was to me a little bit more currency, which I mean is good, right? But doesn't actually get me closer to my goal. Let's see if there's something over around here that I necessarily missed. The big part of this game is just exploration, right? I mean, the combat is huge, obviously. Like that's the main draw of the game. The combat wasn't good, then no one would play the game. But the other big component of this game is like the mystery of the world and the ex exploration that you do to figure out what's going on and find your goals. Kind of rem reminiscent of the like original like Legend of Zelda. Like how they do their theories and everything, DJ. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I, just, I haven't watched a lot of their videos lately. I really should. I really enjoyed all their theories, and I like also like how they like kind of made like other channels like for games, like movie theories and different stuff. I like how they kind of like expanded everything. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, there's something over here to the left when you try to figure out how to get there we do see there down there on the bottom left i guess yet yeah, right next to me right here there's a little symbol that indicates a secret so that's something if you get down there that'd be great oh no we're just gonna fall off to our death that works too let's see if we can get, go around and get to it Yeah, I know Matt Pat. He's he was the main guy from Game Theorist when I was watching. And I still watch a few of his videos nowadays, right? Like I kinda feel like if you watch in the Game Theory episodes, he's the one talking and such, so
Okay, there's the first teleporter, right, that we went to. And then we went that way second. And now we can come down here. What does this get us? This gives us another piece of currency. Cool. But again, not exactly what I was hoping for. Do I believe of his game theory? You mean, do I believe his theories? Like, like all of them? No. I mean, some of them are like pretty like outlandish and like they're just theories, right? Um. I mean, I feel like he has some good, like, some interesting stuff, like the whole thing about, like, Link being dead in, Majora's Mask, and, like, dealing with grief and everything, that was pretty cool. Clark, welcome in! There it is. Okay, cool. Got another piece there. Okay, so we look at our map here. This is a big underground section, right? If we scroll on down, we can see here the little last key that we need down here by itself. So that makes me think there's some kind of either teleporter or something that we can use to get over there. Now, I don't know if these light pink lines mean anything, but if they do, that would mean this area right here is somehow connected to that. So that's the only hunch I have to go on, so I guess I'll explore it. Griffins, Pegasus, yeah. The polar bear, yep, yep. Yeah, Clark, there's there's a ton of really cool different mytho mythological creatures. Honestly, I have to go with the classic, right, of dragons. Like, dragons, y'all. Like, you're just, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And also, welcome in. Uh, how do you say your name? Haha, uh -huh, it's Cell? That is that how you say it? I'll just call you Cell. I recently started playing this game as well. I'm only what maybe six hours in so far? Just call yourself perfect. Well welcome in. I am Lucid Faith. It's great to have you. It's pretty interesting so far. Yeah, exactly. Um, I got it because I got it for free on uh, Twitch Prime a while back and I never played it. Yeah, so but anyone interested, this game is currently free on the Epic Game Store, so definitely go check it out. This is Hyper Light Drifter. I mean, that's fair, Clark. I mean, there's nothing like, you don't have to choose dragons or anything. Just because I love them. But there's just... There's so many different types of dragons, so many different interpretations of dragons, with western dragons, and like Asian dragons, like water spirit type stuff. Like there's just... There's just so much. They're just... And everyone's interpretation of a dragon is a little bit different, and I kind of love it. But Cell, how are you doing today? I am trying to find my way to my last thing that I need. And it's, uh, it's not going well. throughout your shoulder.